Hello, friends and colleagues. I'm Ash Melotra. I work as a lecturer and a researcher for NMIT in Nelson. Nelson is in uh, New Zealand. Uh, it's in the South Island. So first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for accepting my paper and giving me this opportunity to pr present it at this virtual meet. Um, it's always good time to move forward with hope and positivity. Uh, I always remind myself that, uh, you know, the motivation behind all this is uh, we are like a big family and we have a common goal to make this planet happy, prosperous and sustainable. Although we have unique life experiences, we do have common concern and therefore we are duty bound to share and exchange information, which will be good for solving the common problems in a very pluralist manner. Right now we are facing COVID-19 and most probably uh, it will fade away into history very soon being a positive person, I feel that. Uh, but the fact remains, we still have to learn the lessons it has taught us so that we are more capable of handling them in the future. We don't want it to be repeated. And uh, one of the things which uh, I would like to focus on is the management perspective of the crisis, because we all are looking at the technical aspect of it, and we're looking at the medical expertise point of view. So here I'm looking at the management viewpoint, and therefore uh, the research topic which I have here is, uh, I like to now share the screen with you. So let me share the screen. And I hope you are going, you are able to see the screen now. Yep. So the importance of managerial skill in sustainable leadership. This is the topic uh, where I am trying to uh, focus on why uh, so many leaders have failed who were expected to succeed and so many leaders who were under so much of constraint have performed very well. So that brings us at the crossroad of how people who were expected to succeed have not succeeded, whereas others who were having so many constraints around them did well. What is it which is making the change from success to failure or from failure to success. Uh, so this raises too many questions and therefore uh, research is required. Basically the crisis of COVID has questioned the leadership capability process which we use and what we should use in the future. Now, one thing is that uh, when World Health Organization stands up and warns everyone that the COVID at a macro level is on the way up, we have to stop and notice it. And uh, the, such statements will dampen the spirit of everyone around the planet because they are viewing world economies not improving which can have impact on the societies. And also uh, tourism is a very big uh, player globally and that is under threat. So therefore a uh, leadership topic is back into focus. I'm looking at it from the management angle and uh, just wanting to understand whether anything else could have been done which would have reduced the collateral damage 
which have happened and we all are aware of it. Uh, so my focus is that, uh, shifting away from medical and technological area into non-technical area of management. And uh, there is secondary research, there is primary research to be done. So starting with the hypothesis, uh, I believe that uh, a good leader must combine leadership and managerial skills. Of course, in a, at a philosophical level with in-depth experience and knowledge, it's not easy to apply the skills, even if one has a knowledge. Now, therefore, uh, the aim and purpose becomes very clear. Uh, the area which I'm specifically looking at is the importance of managerial skills uh, for a successful leadership to handle crisis at a global level. Uh, we need to understand uh, some of the topics because I think uh, amongst us, we have people from different diverse areas. So therefore uh, for management, uh, person with the management background, all these are a routine concept, but for a non-managerial person, these are the concepts which they should know, they should be aware of. So I'll quickly go through it. Uh, one is the leadership, which means uh, who is a leader? A leader is a person who influences followers uh, towards a goal and uh, they participate in it willingly, not by force. Then we have managerial skills where um, a manager applies certain executive, administrative, and supervisory skills on a group of people to achieve a goal again. But the only thing is the leader applies at a strategic level and a manager applies at a tactical and operational level. So mostly in management area, these are considered to be two separate positions, leadership and manager. But uh, the way the crisis has happened and the way uh, people with all the resources have failed. Uh, one likes to revisit uh, this separation of mutually exclusive concepts to, to think whether uh, times have changed and there is a need to blend these skills. And uh, that will prove to be more effective. Let's see. Uh, strategy. Now, strategy is uh, kind of what are the policies and the plans which a leader makes and applies to solve a problem. Here again, the policies and plans we are assuming that would whether they, it will be better with leadership skills only or with the blend of leadership and managerial skills. Uh, the question is like leaders do apply managerial skills, but optionally here we are talking about whether it should be applied, not optionally, but it should be applied uh, intentionally. Uh, everything should lead to whatever leaders do to sustainability. In, in other words, uh, there should be, the outcome should be a well-being positive results, which go for a long term. Uh, so, so because they work at a strategic level. So these are the four concepts we have to keep it in mind to understand uh, what we are talking about. Now, looking into some of the research which was done, uh, the figures here shows that USA, UK, Italy, Spain, four out of many, uh, just as an example, it shows that per million, the number of cases were very high compared to certain countries who, where the leaders had so many constraints like India, Australia, New Zealand. They seem to have handled the crisis much better. India with so, a lot of constraint from all sides, very diverse country, funds, uh, constraint, uh, people are more, uh, so handling the population itself, uh, people management is a problem. Uh, New Zealand, very small country, 
but uh, well has metropolitan areas where the per density population is high so therefore they face problems similar to uh, many major cities around the world but they handled it well so therefore we are going to it, it gives us surprise what is it so we are not looking at it from technical point of view we are looking at it from a non technical point from the managerial point of view so different viewpoints uh, one of the things which we, would, uh, we have to visit is the basic leadership skills what are the basic skills uh, it's a long list but i'll just try to draw your attention to the key ones the vision motivation planning teamwork strategy communication decision making integrity these are some of the key ones and there are many more soft skills are there so these are the essential skills which a leader requires but the crisis has shown that they need something more so that leads me to do research on the managerial skills too now as per harvard business review three skills are required because this knowledge keeps updating so uh, the research shows that lately for the 21st century uh, three skills which become up very prominently are cultural sensitivity digital literacy and divided attention now divided attention is something where i need to explain that a manager need to handle multiple things at the same time so here that is what we are looking at and then we have got another uh, researcher called smith uh, in his article he has emphasized on seven skills of uh, for a manager and these are communication motivation organizing delegation planning problem solving decision making now when you combine all the skills we find that it overlaps with leadership skills some of them where some of them are very different so those which are different the leaders may be required to incorporate them along with the leadership skills and apply it to real life to solve bigger crises so that is what we would like to see in history in the past what has happened now Uh, there are researchers in the past who feel that like baker who feels that uh, based on their research that leadership will be incomplete uh, without management concept and uh, the two concepts are interrelated so therefore it's not an option but it would be better that it is applied so not only the covid 19 crisis but even major crises which are going to happen or may happen in the future the leaders would be better equipped if they use them not as a option but intentionally to to manage the crisis um uh, most leaders do play they are way that they are also to certain extent playing the role of a manager but uh here we are talking at a different level we are we are talking about that it's not by choice but compulsorily through formal training and through formal experience a leader need to combine the managerial skills at an expertise level in order to solve a crisis so that is what is the question over here and uh we will try to look into the ground reality like in the past whether the leaders were successful after using managerial skills so the research shows that there is a strong link between the leaders and the managerial skills uh, according to the study done by the boston computer museum they have on record 200 sketches of successful leaders they have displayed it because uh, their organizations their projects were successful due to not only the technical skills 
but but also leadership skills to manage the organization uh, and using the managerial skills to manage same way there are other uh, research work which shows that uh, management leadership is leadership uh, which requires managerial skills this is reinforced by george patton patton which everyone uh, is a uh, knows who is he i need not explain that uh, who has uh, in a war uh, has oh, his his uh, statement about the war is very popular to that movie patton uh, which is a hollywood movie and uh, well you can watch it on youtube <laughs> so he also emphasizes that the combination of managerial skills for decisiveness with leadership uh, you know is a very important aspect of winning a war and same thing is reinforced by abraham lincoln right back in 1864 where he won against a charismatic leader and uh, the reason for it was better managerial skills so again here these cases plus many other cases which i'm not presenting over here shows that in the past two leaders who were successful were using managerial skills so why not in the future and why not make it more formal as the environment becomes more risky and uncertain now let's see what happens when leaders don't use managerial skills now one of the things which the researchers have found is that um, um, only using technical skills and not using managerial skills could lead to the leader not understanding the problem of liquidity in a project in a business which can lead to bankruptcy further Uh, there have been organizations which feel that uh, there are different stages through which a business growth happens and uh, a leader without the managerial skills will succeed in some stages may not succeed in some stages ultimately it would lead to a disaster so it is required to take the organization or a project through different stages of growth both the skills are required again um, leaders may emphasize on efficiency but may not be effective which again shows that uh, the combination of manager and leadership skills are required because one makes them efficient knowledge and the other knowledge managerial knowledge makes them effective which is both are required to make things successful so therefore if in the covid situation if a leader has not succeeded they should dwell upon reflect on the fact that were the managers who were working with them cooperated and were they not emphasizing too much on efficiency without providing the necessary effectiveness that's managing so well we have to stand and think about this uh, uh, so 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 here uh, the crisis of covid has exposed the level of incompetences of many leaders uh, not incompetency but uh, well the capacity to manage the crisis um many of the terms i'm using literally but it doesn't mean that i'm trying to criticize anyone look at the primary research now uh, the participants were asked is management knowledge valuable for a leader and 100% of them said yes so that indicates now let me tell you that most of the people who were participating in the survey they had experience working for organizations and they had also experience of doing their own business 
and they were very switched on. So therefore they had in-depth knowledge, practical knowledge, real knowledge to succeed or to fail, but they had the knowledge and the long ex experience. So they were asked and they felt that yes, 100% they agree that um, management knowledge is a very valuable thing. So uh, another question was put to them, whether managerial skills for a leader will give them competitive advantage, 73% felt so. Now let me tell you, as I told you, they are all very experienced people. It's a focused group. So therefore, uh, what they are saying, they are saying with full intention. And 73% of them feel from the past failures and success that yes, manager skills would have definitely given competitive advantage and is necessary to face any crisis. Uh, looking, going further, uh, whether practical training should become part of the education. So far, you know, people having different experiences feel that, okay, now they are ready to lead, which happens uh, most of the dynastic rules we have, whether it should become a formal education training. So 91% felt that, and many of them had uh, practical experience, but no formal training. And they became business people or they were leading a project. Now they felt that 91% uh, that yes, practical training would be a very important uh, part of, should be part of the managerial education. Um, this says a lot of things. Uh, another question which was asked was, can managerial knowledge be learned from experience or formal education? Now here, 64% of the participants felt that uh, both are essential, which I think is a big change from the past where people used to feel that experience is good enough or a formal education is good enough so therefore, a leader to lead a project did not compulsively have formal education, could be coming up through experience. But now things are changing. More and more people believe that both are required before a person is given the leadership role. This says a lot about the future uh, crisis. Uh, there were many more questions which are, were asked, but because of the limited time and uh, we, we have just focused on the key points. So just on the basis of what I have told you uh, here, the overview, um, we can draw a conclusion. And in order to summarize this, uh, the secondary research indicates uh, that leaders with managerial skills, whether formal or based on experience, are likely to succeed. They are more likely to manage risk contingencies and uncertainties and can also take better decisions. When we look at the primary research, majority of the participants agree that managerial skills leads to competitive advantage, ensure success in a strategic way, sustainable way. It also reflects that managerial leadership skills does offer strategic advantages, and these are very useful to handle crises like COVID, or where global risks are there in the political area, social areas, or business areas. So in conclusion, the findings, if analyzed, shows that a combination of manager and leadership skills will be a better option for a leader or an entrepreneur or a political leader to lead the way in a not only efficient way, but also effective manner. So here I end uh, my research thesis and hope uh, you will have something to take away from here. Probably this is a very basic investigation and more uh, people will come forward to do research in depth because we are stakeholders. 
we are concerned for the common problems which the world is facing and will face in the future. And we need better process, better leaders, better technology have to work uh, in an integrated fashion to solve the crisis. So we cannot uh, ignore one side of the problem and focus only on certain areas. It's a combination of uh, solutions which will lead to sustainability. Thank you so much for giving patient hearing. And uh, I'm very thankful to the organizers. Thank you once again. Have a good day.